a just released app that leverages self-tracking and artificial intelligence to deliver insights on improving your health. It's free, no strings attached. I'm Lance, I consult in this space, and today I'm talking about the Metroport app and what this startup can do to take flight. Categorically, this software falls into a space called the Quantified Self app, which means self-knowledge through self-tracking, and this app makes that possible with privacy and using artificial intelligence spots correlations that surface on what you've been tracking. A correlation means that two data flows behave in a similar way, sometimes revealing a cause and effect relationship between the two, a link that would be difficult to spot otherwise. And this app, the very aim and purpose of this app is to help you through objective data learn about your mental and physical health. For example, you can monitor your mood over time and learn of external factors such as diet or lifestyle or medications, how they may correlate with how you feel, and identifying your personal triggers is the first step in being able to manage them. This is an app that wears lots of hats, meaning you can track anything, whereas most apps people are using now have a single focus, and track mood, or fitness, or sleep, or water consumption, or their period, or symptoms, or skin, or sex, or celibacy, or poop, or pee. And don't worry, all your data lives encrypted locally on the device you're using to protect your privacy. This app is not tethered to the cloud, but the point here is, to varying degrees, this app can replace all these other self-tracking apps, and that means you can harness under one roof the power of the artificial intelligence determining correlations across the entire set of data. Let me give you an example of how this can work. The Metroport app has local weather tracking capability, and if you were self-tracking your headaches, the app could surface a correlation within the weather data and your headaches. I say this mindful pressure changes that cause weather changes are thought to trigger chemical and electrical changes in the brain. This irritates nerves, leading to what is known as the barometric pressure headache. Now, I happen to have this pre-existing knowledge, but theoretically you would come to this same correlation without having any prior knowledge of it through this app. And be mindful, our lives are filled with correlations we are entirely unaware of, and many affect our behavioral and mental wellness. For example, anxiety triggers the fight or flight response that interrupts proper digestion. The result is often a stomach ache. Someone using this app may not be aware of this, however, if they were tracking feeling anxious and stomach aches, this app would surface that correlation. The app does come with some built-in templates for mood tracking, medicine tracking, and even tracking your journaling. And you're not limited. You can create your own custom tracking templates. You can track whatever you want in your life, like events centered around a newborn or perhaps an elderly person. A great thing about this app is its ability to engage device metrics, wearable device metrics from Apple Health or Google Fit. You can also create daily prompts with custom messages to nudge yourself and hold yourself accountable for data entries. Though the app is not tethered to the cloud in any way, they do offer a premium plan where it's possible to back up and store your data encrypted on their servers. And this might be something you would consider if you were concerned about losing your data, losing your phone, or wanted to switch phones and upload and download your data. Okay, it's time to grind Metroport. This is a true startup with no outside money, and they may be onto something. I don't see a lot of things out here like this, meaning specifically integration with Apple Health and Google Fit devices, the correlation artificial intelligence software, all untethered to the cloud, privately encrypted on your own device and free. You see, today in most cases, nothing is free, and you have to give something to get something. And usually that's your personal data and or your eyeballs, your attention. You have to agree to receive ads, and none of that is here in place. So it seems like you're being offered something of value with no strings attached and truly free. That's noteworthy. This startup has no traffic to speak of, understandably so, and when you go to their site, 
The black background, well, there is an established strategy behind that in setting a tone, driving a vibe, conjuring a feel. But this is not a generation-targeted sale. They are not selling clothes or music. This is not what you want to do. This is selling health. This is selling intelligence and information. There's a reason health-oriented websites stick with white, blues, and greens, a clean look, primarily because it works. The experience of their site starkly contrasts with what their future customers are familiar with from Apple Health and Google Fit. Apple and Google know what they're doing in this game, and when Apple wants to sell a vibe, believe me, they use vibrant colors. Go to their Apple Health site, and what you see is a clean look for a reason. Google Fit, same thing. When you're a startup like this, it's mission critical to establish trust. The experience of your site should feel fluid and seamless with that of Apple and Google to make people feel comfortable and familiar. Let me show you further on how and why this matters and connects to this startup. Right now, out of London, there is a very similar app called Bearable. That's it right there. They've been in the game for a few years and are very established here in the US. Doing the same thing as Metroport, sans the correlation software. Here is a Google data profile of how Bearable is doing here in the US. I do have their UK metrics, but let's focus on just their US metrics, which are these you see on the screen. That red circle, that shows you in the last 30 days, they had just under 3,500 people who found them on Google. The yellow arrow on the left marks 12 months ago. The yellow arrow on the right marks today. 12 months ago, they there were about a thousand different words and phrases people were using, finding them on Google. But today, that metric is nearly 3,000. Specifically, that purple arrow shows you it's just under 3,000. You're looking at 200% growth in 12 months in findability online, which is excellent. This is the template for Metroport. They don't need to reinvent the wheel. They need to model this London-based company who is effective in getting U.S. traffic and doing exactly what they do. And when I say model, I mean discern what's working well for Bearable. How are they doing it? Well, let's find out. Let's look at the data and see the top pages that are earning them traffic. And there you have it. Other than their homepage, you see the number one page in getting them traffic is titled Syncing with Other Devices and Apps. Every month, month after month, they're getting about 350 people in the U.S. finding them online on that topic. It's the leading topic they have on their site. Think about it. With that audience, you don't have to convince them of the value and benefit of tracking. They're already doing it. They're not at the start of any tracking journey. They only have to be showed that your tool adds value to what they're already doing. It leverages and optimizes what they're already doing, and there is very little reason for this audience to not adopt it. If you want to accelerate adoption of what you do, target the audience well into the journey, who already understands and can vision the newfound benefit, the outcome you offer. Now, the founders of Metroport are engineers. They're brilliant engineers, but they are engineers, and that's reflected in the messaging on their website. You see a lot of content of people impressed with their work, and rightfully so. The interface is amazing, but they have to get past that not be impressed with their interface and focus on how to transform lives. The discoveries users have found about themselves and how it was only possible due to their app. There will be people who discover they have celiac disease, for example, from using this app. And those are the kind of stories that are going to grow their business. This startup needs to cultivate stories and get this app out there in the hands of people. In sum, the bearable data and insights show the fastest path of growth for Metroport is going to be going through engaging the Apple Health and Google Fit audience. 
That's why the look and feel of the website matters and should feel seamless and connected to Apple Health and Google Fit. That's how this company is going to take flight. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a friend. Hit the like button. I would appreciate that. If this is the kind of thing that interests you, definitely subscribe. I'm Lance. This is Therapy Grind. Until next time, take care.